Um, what's going on here? Adjust the slider until the third image is barely visible. Okay. Nothing <laughs> changes when I slide it. I've never seen that problem before. Welcome to Darkwood. This is a game I've been looking forward to for a bit. Uh, they were nice enough to give me a key for free and whatnot. So I've never played this game and I've not watched stuff about this game. So all I can do is go from my outsider perspective of trying to read the Steam page and stuff like that. But I, when we did the poll, I uh, compared it to this war of mine in Silent Hill, which some parts I'm sure is accurate and other parts is less accurate, but there seems to be the tags are interesting. The tags call it a top-down uh, survival horror indie RPG. And I'm like, RPG, huh? We'll see where I... We'll, I guess we'll see why that tag is included. But yeah, it's a top-down survival, survival horror game. The survival horror part seems pretty accurate, I would say, from whatever I can make out of this game. Because it seems to be a game where you can, like sort of get get a base together and uh, there's like sort of a day night cycle where like there's a there's a a daylight ish period of time where the, where the world is more safe uh, and you can kind of get away with going around outside and whatnot and during that period of time you can scavenge and try to get stuff together and then during the nighttime you just try to hunker down in your ba in your in your base with all your defenses and like any amount of barricading and you can manage to do and that that's where I that's where I compare it to this war of mine and it also has it's very much a horrible hellscape type thing as far as I can tell with the phasing seemingly changing phases of reality or whatever and so that's why I point at Southern Hill but you know who knows it's got to be interesting and I think it's at Gamma it doesn't work it doesn't work. It's weird that it doesn't work. There's apparently no dialogue, or there's no dialogue slider. Hopefully there's just no dialogue. Let's get started. Get prologue? No. Difficulty? I'm gonna say normal. Uh, this option enables additional cool but immersion-breaking content? No. Huh. I'm guessing that being given a press code gave me an Indiegogo support code, I guess, or something. I'm gonna... let's see. So, in normal mode, when dying, you drop part of your equipment. In hard mode, you have a limited number of lives, and after that, it's game over. Nightmare, the ultimate thrill. Permadeath. Jesus. There is no easy mode. Alright, so, so yeah. So, my penalty will be that I lose some stuff. Uh... I could see myself playing on hard or, or nightmare as like a personal thing, maybe, or even, but, uh, at for when I'm, since I'm doing a series, it would really suck if it just abruptly ended one day. And then it's like, well, that's our finale. I died. That'd be a bummer. You are playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. This is always an interesting thing is when, uh, is trying to see how a particular game handles the concept of being a mechanically driven horror experience. Because lately, uh, the, the popular trend, is, uh, mainly since Amnesia The Dark Descent, has been to make, uh, make horror games that are less and less mechanically driven to the point where many of them more recently are essentially games where all you do is run and hide and then go somewhere and just go through hallways and whatnot. But the origins of horror in video games were much more mechanically driven. The Silent Hills and Resident Evils and whatnot. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run, 
The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. Sup? Your character looks at the mouse. WASD to move. The only edible thing growing on this in this on this land. I still have some left. Potatoes. I have a whoa, I have a lot of potatoes. There's just like a giant stack along the entire wall in here. So it, it appears that apocalyptic scenario has occurred. We're well past that, and now we're just living with the world afterwards. How does drag work? Ah. So you can continually hold it. And then walk around while you're holding it. Could I bore... Could I... I wonder if I could bar this... Door... With the chair. That's interesting. Uh, Unnerving creak noise. So this window's already barricaded. I could dismantle it if I want to. Seems like a bad call. A homemade device for producing moonshine. So I start off with some potatoes, a alcohol distillery, barricaded window, table. I have a notepad and some pills. Item found, notepad. Nothing written on it so far? Can I write on it? No. So it seems that'll populate with stuff as we go. It did not go into my inventory. Value 30, max 3. So you can st I think you can stack 3 pills at once, and then it seems to sell for 30 of whatever currency we're using. Unless 30 is how much I can get for from healing with it. Medical notes. I, n I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. We gotta keep an eye out, I almost missed that one. It's a decent highlight of the potential- of potentially how, like, it might be kind of hard to see some details of the environment that I'd want to not miss. That's my- oh, okay. The generator's almost out of juice, I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tracker to the east, maybe I could find some gasoline there. I'm, like, slightly rushing my reading because during the intro cutscene, the dialogue kept cutting off before I could get through it, really. So, when the door is closed, presumably stuff could happen behind that door without me knowing. I can turn the light on or off. Got shoes with nothing to search out of them. Cages. This time, they're empty. Ooh. Got my medical bag. My old, useless medical bag. I can sell it, apparently. My old Zenit camera. Oh. Seems like we might get a use out of this then. It seems to be getting added like a more of a permanent... Yep, didn't go into my inventory. Photo. December 6th, 1985. That looks like a face, kind of. Horrifying. Ooh, found ourselves a rag. I think we've searched everything. Yep, in this little area. My tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. So he's not in the habit of finding more people, of encountering more people that might actually need help. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. Ah, so if it's black, then it's out of range. And if it's white, I'm in range. So if I highlight something when my cursor is black, that means that it's not. I won't actually know whether or not I'm in range. Or I, won't, I won't know whether or not I can use it. We have a wardrobe where we can keep stuff. I'll open the front door to my house with this. So I got a key. A medical book? Vida Lekarska. I think this is documentation about whatever outbreak happened, right? 
Seems like it would be. Got more rags. Don't know what to do with them yet. I might as well stack them in here. Quickly produced moonshine, barely filtered. Got a board and match stick. I might take the matches with me. Some of the stuff, I think, just is sort of a space-consuming thing. If this is supposed to be my base, then I uh, don't think we want to take everything with me. I've just woken up, so this is where I sleep. The hell are those sounds? I don't like that sound, but it, all, it might just be a motorcycle? This radio's been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Lots of numbers written down. The hell is that sound? Oh, it's the radio. Can I turn it off? I hate that sound. It's making me really nervous. It's- I best not enter this room right now. Uh... Don't I live here? I'm a little concerned about why that might be a thing I think about my own place. Are these more potatoes? What are these? The lock is jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Oh no. Someone's in there. Victim of the plague, seemingly. Well, at least all, at least all the windows are barricaded. I don't have a weapon, I don't think. Locked. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. I grabbed the key, right? If the cursor has a plus icon next to it, you can hold left mouse button to open the selected object's action menu. There you go. Oh, sorry. So I can barricade it even, too. The doors. No, oh, what happened to the dog? And are those more bodies? A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Oh. My dog, I don't think he's gonna make it. I should end the suffering. That's where this game starts? Immediately? Wait, destroyed well? I thought, that was, I thought that was a pi- Oh, I, I can see it now. I thought it was a pile of bodies, honestly. It's a rope in the well. I keep trying to drag things, but it's a, it's a toggle click, not a drag click. We can vault over obstacles. My 125P. It used to be a, it used to be a luxury, but since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it's become a useless pile of trash. How effective are the woods, exactly? If they've devoured your very... The roads? In what time? Alright, so the camera's not really doing me any favors here. Does shift let me run? Shift lets you run. There's a stamina meter. Okay. Another game with a stamina meter. Keep that in mind. How do I even put him out of his misery? I don't even... So, I is I inventory? Tab? Oh! Oh no! Oh, it's the, it's the zombie use system where if you press the inventory screen, you lose your vision to look at your inventory. So he looks down at his bag, which means that his vision cone disappears. Which means that you're not going to see anything around you. So you better feel safe. There's an axe. Oh. I think I see where we're going with this. Time to not feel particularly good about myself. All right. 
Teach you how to fight by having you execute your wounded dog. That's the weapon tutorial of this game, just so we're clear about what just happened. <laughs> Jesus. So what you do is you hold right click, and then when it turns red, you left click. It took a little while for me to figure that out, because if you just hold right click and let go, nothing happens. He just lowers the weapon. When, with the weapon selected in your hotbar, hold right mouse button to take aim. Oh, there you go. Oh. Another way to teach me, I guess. Just destroy our own barricade. What can go wrong? These trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. I can pick up a- there's a bear trap? Snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. Oh, it's mine now. This dead cow has a bone. Maybe I can put that somewhere? Or do something with bone? Now they're teaching me how to run. Kind of fig figured that out, out before, kind of. Location found path. Oh! We do have a map. Does it tell me where I am right now? I'm headed down. Oh, it does say I'm here. Yep, there it goes. The wizard devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. It's a fallen tree. Is that also on the map? Yep. Okay, so the red icon, the red indicates where I am. The patterns themselves are there regardless, but the red highlights my current location. So I'm adding landmarks as we go. Get some boards, some matchsticks, they max out at 50. Some rags. So I think I was right to not bring everything with me. We have a limited inventory screen for the, uh... Uh, to immediately transfer items between inventories, hold left control or left shift when clicking it. Okay, cool. Don't need to- don't need to manually move each one. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. I can't. <laughs> I need gas? Or I need the moonshine. Otherwise, I just have to use my flashlight. I don't have either of the resource types because I, did, I didn't bring everything from the wardrobe with me. I figured that's our base. Uh, do I not even have a flashlight? Is that just my current vision cone and nothing else? An abandoned house. It's hard to make out what the shapes even mean. I think this is the house. And what is this thing? What is that thing? I don't like anything. In a few days it will be completely absorbed. There's just like a weird... pedicle tree absorbing a person? We have an elk here that seems to- uh, Like the top half is an elk and the bottom half's like a person, I think. Right, shift. There we go. Remember to do, do that for our, all of our sakes. Maybe I'll find what I need in order to, uh... Craft a torch around here. Ugh, the creaking. Oh, I can't see anything in here. I'll give you the option to repair doorways. I just walk through them though? Yeah. What about the other one? 
I can't get past whatever this is. Seems like the forest growing. Oh, it, it has officially gotten too dark. Another one. It's like half lamb, half person. And there's and both times they're surrounded by a circle. So it's very deliberate. Yeah, this is not a flashlight or anything. This is just my vision cone. So if it's dark or light, that determines what it is. So I think this is all daytime, and it's just over there. There's so much coverage, I can't see anything. I think this one is still breathing. He's unconscious man? He's coughing. It just says search. A big metal key. If there is an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. 21. Came to that conclusion pretty quickly, didn't you? He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. I need to get out of this accursed for forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. That fucker stole my key. Wait. What? Hang on a second. <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. Um... So I was like, wow, we, uh, seems like we play a shitty, sh a really shitty protagonist, right? Like, we're a terrible person, seemingly. Uh, willing to torture people for the the apparent exit, like, that's our def a default start. And we're playing as the doctor. But, then, so I had a moment of thinking, like, are we crazy? Because uh, I, I thought that we got out of the chair that we had just been interrogating like we were the same person and I was like just losing it and talking to a fake person. No, I think the person that got kidnapped is real, but I think the person who we, that was found in the field and interrogated and whatnot, I think that might be the protagonist of the game. I think the entire intro we just played was a completely different character. <laughs> oh man. An entry to a small cellar. Maybe the pantry? Oh, yeah, we're playing as the guy that got kidnapped. And I have, like, no health. And, ooh. I have bandages. Oh, I can craft bandages. That's, that's tab. Yeah. Lockpick. Oh, you can just make 
Okay, so cloth, cloth makes bandages, lockpick, torch. So all the stuff I found is gone now. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Well, that's kind of a relief we, them, to find out we're not playing as that guy. Kind of nice. How do I... Right click? Hold left click? Use. There we go. Now I appear to be healing over time. You are regenerating health. Yeah. I can make a lockpick. Which is probably needed to get out of this room, I would guess. But here's a change in perspective. I'm now playing as a different character that is antagonistic to the main to the person we'd played in, the, in a, what I guess was the prologue. Too strong to dismantle. Okay. I probably have to lockpick you then. There we go. Flashlight and shovel. Ooh. Yes. I've got a flashlight now. It's heavy, but it has good reach. And then the flashlight. I can press 2 to point a flashlight around. We have a proper one now. But I have to manually switch between that and the melee weapon, like we're playing Doom 3 or something. Ah, uh, he's gonna hear this, right? People always make that mistake in, in movies, where they're in- where they- oh, I broke it. Where they're, like, interrogating somebody, and then they, uh, they beat them up so bad that the, that the chair breaks. And then it's like, now they're not tied to anything, basically, you dummy. I can repair this on a workbench. Very mechanically driven game so far. Uh... Great. Sure wish I had already had that on to, from the get-go. So somebody's trapped in here. I need a code. Who's there? Whoever it is can hear me. Please, let me out! Oh... See, what happened here is that the, uh, the generator that the... This was all set up earlier. Like, it's, this, these aren't even random non-sequitur events. It was set up in the story. Uh, he said that the, uh... He said specifically that the generator was about to run out. And then the generator ran out. And so he disappeared. I better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. That's some fucked up territory too, by the way. Syringe. That's pretty screwed up that, uh... <laughs> we're in the house with the kidnapper. And we're like, yeah, we're safer in here, is our response, than going outside. That means whatever whatever's outside is even worse than what's going on here. What does that say? Radio Unitra? I don't trust that. Oh. Oh, there's bad sounds outside. I think he just pieced out. Because the, the wardrobe is uh, cleared out. That had stuff in it before. Oh, I can push the lamp around. <laughs> you have a lot of mechanical control over some of these things. Covered in blood. So he he doesn't want to leave. Can I make another, another lockpick? So I can't craft. I can't beat the door down. This flashlight is not very effective, it would seem. Seems like I can't really see at all. This is- yeah, this is me with the flashlight on. Confirm. Wrong code, that's what I thought. So I need to go find this guy's password. Seven zero zero. I don't think this is a code. Is the flashlight even affecting my light? There we go. I'm not dismantling the window. It seems like a bad call. Wait, there was a door there before. Uh-huh. The wardrobe's inside of- in front of the door. 
clever. Oh, cool, a, to a torture chamber. What a nice man we were playing as in the prologue. That was a cool little trick they did, the switcheroo. Alright, well, can't turn that on. Need the power. Metal table with leather belt strapped on. Come on. I need a code. Gasoline! He had gasoline? The whole time? Table leg. Yeah. It's a better weapon than a broken one. Does he still have all those potatoes? To refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank, hover your cursor over the thing, and then use right mouse, but follow by left. Oh. That whole thing. Okay. Three. They're doing that thing where they use moderately complicated controls because when you're in a tense situation and you're panicking, you're going to be way more likely to be to screw up the controls and get yourself killed, probably. Oh, the tank disappeared. Okay. I thought the empty tank would be something that I would still use. Alright, table leg ready. Come and get me, brah. What? What? That's a... No. Why did it turn on? Where did this guy come from? The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice. Barely distinguishable from the radio static. I think he is the radio now, isn't he? I can't even hit him. Because it's, it's actually still considered a corpse, apparently. 4892. He's saying that. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force to it. Help me. Come closer. No, this is super a trap. I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. I'm gonna push the light at it. This isn't a crazy neurotic behavior. I'm being smart. There's no one there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. No. Don't do that. That made me jump really hard. You should really stop attacking me. Oh. Was that the doctor? A plastic chick. Oh, what, I don't think that was the doctor, was it? I think that was the prisoner. Uh, why can't you, why can't you, now he's laughing? How did you want to get out? And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? I think that is the doctor. Hear it? Oh, fuck off. Oh, no. Oh, God. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> That was the prologue?
So it begins chapter one, apparently. 